Hi, welcome, welcome, welcome. We're gonna do my scorps. Okay, we're gonna do raw love. We're gonna do now. Well, not now. We're gonna do the fifteenth through the thirty-first. Okay, um, and we're gonna do raw love, and we get what we get, and we don't get upset. Okay. Oh, I miss my little scorps. What are you guys up to? What are you up to? Guess we're about to find out. I guess we're about to find out, my little Scorps. Let's see. Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. August 15th to the 31st, 2019. Scorpio. This could be a dragon. Oh, you got some power behind you guys right now. Okay, so you got the rose pink dragon with the green dragon. So. This prepares you for your heart to connect. It's, it wants you to connect with the love of the universe too, right? But it, it's like, there's something sacred here. You're getting guidance through nature. If you need grounding or guidance, go straight to nature. Nature is the key. It holds the key. It helps you tune into the secrets. You're going to receive answer guidance. It's pretty powerful. I can feel it. This is the power I was feeling. My little water sign needs earth right now. Open your heart. Connect with the love of the universe. And right now they're saying, it's earth. So you might be resonating with green and pink, pink and green, however you want to look at it, okay? It's beautiful. Nature is, is big for you. I know you guys love your water, but and I, I don't feel you on being ungrounded, right? So it's like, get outside. That guidance is, is, is right there. You're being prepared for your hot chakra to open, and Earth is going to help you. It's beautiful. Scorpio. Got the Seven of Earth. You have the Two of Fire. You have a Messenger of Air. So it's almost like before and then you got love. And then at the bottom of the deck you got the nine of air reverse. So coming out of anxiety. I think you might still have some, but not not too much, right? You got the seven of earth, two of fire. So it's like you know you're about to invest your time into something. To me it should be earth, nature, animals. I can see it, I can feel it. But it's like you're going in a new direction. But before you can go in a new direction, you're going to get a message. It's going to be clear. And you, you do have the Six of Cups here. Not the Six of Cups. Um, yes. It's love. But it, it's like you need strength here is what you need. I know it's the strength card, but like a couple, see everything's flipping on me. Hold on. Um, it's like have the strength right now. Scorpio, seven of earth, please. Spend some time in nature. Be, be patient. You're coming out of the eight, the eight of swords, fights, arguments, stress. You're coming out of it. You're, you're just breaking free from something. Let me go with the tool of fire. So you're going in a new direction, right? I don't know how long it took you to get here. It looks like a while. I think you're exhausted. But that's, I can feel that changing. I can feel the power that you guys hold right now. And I'm telling you, outside, go outside, okay? And you got the staff, so this is being guided. I do feel that some of you 
for some reason we're dealing with an Aquarius that hurt you, but leave the past in the past. Or they or you have a strong Aquarian in your chart and mentally you kind of created this pain. Well, they partake too, right? But like, you're being guided to go in a new direction. So this message, whoever you're sending or you're getting is guided. Tell me about the messenger of AF. You could be dealing, or this could be somebody watching you, but I don't really look at it like that. If, or they're watching you have a new beginning and it's linked to your past, but I see it the other way around. Tell me about the messenger of AF. Because this is going in a new direction, opening your heart, allowing yourself to get entombed. It's like you're a very watery energy, right? Like this this Aquarian and a Scorpio, like it's, it's almost like you're in water. It's your Aquarian energy that you need this communication that you need might get in tune with. But like it's watering the earth too. And right now it's like you need that earth, right? See, you got temperance. So see what I'm saying? It's the balance between earth and water right now. And you're water, so it's like, go after the earth. There's something here, it's like you're desiring your past or vice versa. We've got the queen of pens right here with the messenger of air. So you're either going to deliver a message to the Taurus, or the Taurus is going to deliver it to you, or it's just you and this energy. Or this queen of pens is about to get a blessing. Aquarius, Taurus, Sag. You, of course, as the Scorpio, but it's because of one of these elements overcoming something. Tell me about love. What? I'm so sorry. I know you're still on. I gotta find you. I forgot to um so sorry about that. Tell me about love. See you guys might get a message, you know? And it was just three times in a row. You're going to have to make a decision. The Queen of Swords. It's, it looks like the feminine Scorpio needs to make a decision. Or the man needs to make a decision with a, a feminine. But it's it's having compassion. It looks like there's like two. It's almost like you want nothing to do with it. And whoever is exterior to you. Like go at it. Like I already cut my ties. I have the compassion that's needed. But like I'm not involving myself with this bullshit. So I don't know what that's regarding, but that's what that is, right? Yeah, so it's like somebody is about to walk back to you or you're thinking about walking back to somebody in the past. But if you ask me, my Scorps, you don't want to, especially if you you got strong Libra in your chart. Or it's like a gentleman left you and now they want back and you could be dating. But regardless, this is about you lessons coming in you going on a new path you healing from a situation you grounding yourself you getting outside with nature it is so important it's preparing your heart for love so something's coming tell me about the staff so yeah it's the eight of cups you don't know whether it's like walking to your happy. So you could have left an Aquarius, but it's like getting on a new path and walking to your happy. But before you go to this new happy, it's like you get this message, right? So, and it's it's regarding a choice. And it's regarding the past. I'll be done in a few minutes, Lonnie. So, And it's the five of wands reversed, so it's not wanting to argue, that's for sure. Let's get your best advice. Scorpio. 
feel that's advice for my scorps. You're just you're going in a new direction, new path. Your heart chakra's about to open, your heart's about to be it's that feel good energy. You're going towards your happy, you're going towards stability. You know, just please get outside in nature. You got the eight of water, the desire to move on, right? Something more meaningful. So it, see what I'm saying? It's like you cut out what no longer serves you that's linked to your past. You don't have the desire to move on with this person anymore. So move forward. That's your best advice. Keep it keep it going. In another eight, okay? Events moving faster than you think. Delays are over. Many things happen at once, and it's eight, eight. So this is this void is helping you move. This lion's gate is helping you move forward. There's There's no question. All right, so it's going to, it's and it, you're going right to your ton of pens, right? Happy life, financial security, that type of stuff, you know, finding the magic in, in life again. So, and it's like they're in earth, especially with the lion right there, the sun, the Leo, right? So it's like, that's 888 too. You're definitely going towards money too. Someone's gonna come in and you're gonna have a little bit of dilemma. But if you ask me, you don't you don't want this person anymore. It, you got there's you, it's too much self respect and love. So I don't know what went down there, but um, you know better. And if you have any type of confusion, go straight to nature. But you should be doing that right now anyway. You're gonna find your answer, your guidance. I'm telling you, this, you're gonna find your universal love and your guidance through the nature. You need to be taking a walk. I'm telling you. Please do that. Open your heart to a warm hearted to light. Connect with the love of the universe. So keep walking forward. You gotta be smart here. I don't know what you're gonna do when this past comes back or whatever this is. You know, pull your best advice for this love situation because at one point it was love and it got it's not anymore now now it's like you're not even feeling defeated now it's like you just you just know right you're just moving forward so it says your your best advice is for you to absorb the queen of fire be graceful be confident stretch your wings and fly don't underestimate yourself make sure you assert your independence and your creativity and you continue to soar that's pretty powerful message for you i love you guys Bye. and i looked down it was 12 55 so let's just for shits and giggles i don't think i've ever googled that one This is the divine realm telling you that your guardian angels are helping you manifest your desires into life. They are ready to come with you, especially if you need comfort or anything else right now. Um, let me keep reading. You know that saying, what goes up must come down? I don't know what that's about. It's a message from the angels, faith, trust. Stuff's moving, okay? Um, getting on your life partners, purpose, continuing suggesting to get rid of the old that's no longer positively serving you and there's wonderful changes that are going to replace it release your doubts your fears and get through these obstacles look forward to a new wonderful brand new opportunity life-changing expecting stuff is going to be so beneficial for you see walk away walk away from the old let me lower the the light Walk away from the old. Okay, let in the new. And that was the best advice they gave you too. This is very powerful time for you, Squips. It's beautiful. I love you.